Can B12 deficiency cause balance problems? Can it cause issues like dizziness or what's known as ataxia? Yes, B12 is important for a lot of different neurological functions and it's important specifically in the nervous system for myelin sheath, which allows for nerve impulses to be conducted through the nervous system. My name is Dr. Taranella. In this video, we're gonna look at a specific case report of B12 deficiency that caused some of these symptoms. We're gonna look at what, uh, like she had an MRI done, some physical exam things, and how B12 deficiency was responsible for some of those things that were found, and also how the case resolved. So if you're interested in learning more about this type of information, you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and click on the like button if you like this video. All right, let's look at the case. Can B12 deficiency cause balance problems? Yes, it can. B12 is a vital nutrient critical for the function of hematological things, so the production of red blood cells, but any cell really B12 is needed to produce. It's also a critical nutrient for gastrointestinal function, the absorption of nutrients, neurological and psychiatric aspects of our body. Therefore, when there's a B12 deficiency, it can cause problems in any of these areas. And when it comes to balance, of course, B12 deficiency is would be involved there because of the nervous system role. Of all the possibilities of where B12 deficiency shows up, many times the initial presenting symptom is neurological uh, in nature, in my experience. When you're de deficient in B12 for long enough, the body doesn't have enough B12 to go around for all of these different areas of the body. And that's when symptoms start to manifest. When it comes to the nerves and nervous system, B12 is needed for the production of myelin sheath. And myelin sheath is basically like an outer coating that allows for proper conduction of the nerve impulses. It's kind of like, think of a, a wire uh, with the uh, plastic coating on the outside. If there's no plastic coating, you might get like more shirt short circuits and things like that. So if you have B12 deficiency, this can lead to a decrease in the nerve conduction or kind of weird sensations where they shouldn't be. And it's specifically conduction from any part of your body to your brain and vice versa. Um, so this can happen in your legs, in your arms, or even more centrally in the spinal cord itself. So let's look at some case examples so we can better understand. This. So this information is coming from a case report that was published and you can find the link to the case report in the description. And this case report describes five, di five different neurological manifestations of B12 deficiency. Laboratory and clinical history investigations were compatible with the diagnosis of cobalamin deficiency. And cobalamin uh, is another way to say B12. So B12 deficiency, cobalamin deficiency are synonymous. And in all these five cases, the where these patients had B12 deficiency diagnosis, they resolved all the B12 deficiency symptoms with administration of B12 injections. Now let's look at some specific cases related to B12 deficiency and balance problems. As it relates to B12 deficiency and balance problems, uh, two of the patients in this case report presented with the authors describe as acute posterior lateral cord syndrome causing gait ata ataxia and one acute posterior cord syndrome presenting with acute sensory gait ataxia. Okay, so we'll break this down a little bit in the case, uh, in one of the cases that we look at, but ataxia is basically um, impairment in coordination. So that can happen for a lot of different reasons, lack of proper impulses from the brain to the hand, for instance, you may not be able to hold something because you can't quite feel it, um, or vice versa, the senses that would touch something aren't getting transmitted up to the brain pop properly. So let's look at one of the uh, ataxia cases in more detail so we can better understand and see how B12 deficiency causes these balance problems and even look at this, what this means is posterior lateral cord syndrome. So the, this case is a 16 year old patient with difficulty walking and they describe a slippage of foot wearing without knowledge. So basically the 
shoes are slipping off or sandals are slipping off without the person even recognizing it. In this case report, the physical exam showed that the patient had impaired joint position in the lower limbs, but nothing neurological wrong in the upper limbs. So she basically didn't know the positioning of where her joints were. She also had positive Romberg sign. And this is a test used to evaluate the cause or cause of loss of motor coordination, also known as ataxia. And the test is performed by simply closing your eyes while standing up and seeing if you have a loss of balance. If you have normal proprioception, which is the signal from the signal from the brain to the joints to know where your joints are at and vice versa from the joints back up to the brain, you won't have any dizziness. And this is a signal if this signal is interrupted, the proprioception signal is uninterrupted, you will have dizziness. And she did have dizziness indeed, and when this patient had an MRI and found to have posterior lateral syndrome, what does that mean? This occurs when there's an interruption in the sensory signal coming from the brain back to the muscle. In this case, the lack of B12 contributed to the last loss of myelin sheath in the spinal nerves that transmit this signal. This demyelination can be seen on the MRI visually because the demyelination, there's like a, a lack of actual nerve mass there because there's less of that myelin sheath. This demyelination that can occur from B12 deficiency actually can happen anywhere, but it tends to manifest itself in the posterior cord region. And this is a specific area in the spinal cord. The posterior cord region is the area of the spinal nerves that transmit signals about sensation to the brain. So it can manifest as lack of sensation really anywhere in the body. So in this patient's, in this case, um, parenteral or injection of cabalamin was given in the form of a thousand micrograms of a specific type of B12 called cyanocobalamin, which I typically don't recommend, but if you're, you know, in dire straits and you're really low in cobalamin, the cyanocobalamin will work, but typically I would advocate more for hydroxy or methylcobalamin. And she received the B12 injections intramuscular for the first seven days and then weekly for four weeks after that. And then after that, uh, monthly. So she got one a day, then once a week for four weeks, and then monthly after that. And along with this, she was also advised to eat a diet that was a little more rich in B12. And she showed marked improvements in 10 days of treatment. And at the one month follow-up, she was completely relieved of these signs and symptoms. Speaking from my own clinical history and experience treating patients with B12 deficiency, many times balance problems uh, are some of the things they would kind of describe it as dizziness. Sometimes they don't quite understand uh, what's going on. Uh, they may just feel like a little bit out of it when they're walking or moving. Generally, that's how things would manifest, like almost feel like they're going to run into the wall or something like that. But it can present itself in a lot of different ways. And I've had several cases of B12 deficiency causing dizziness that resolved after uh, the B12 levels were repleted. Okay, that's all I had for this video on B12 deficiency causing balance problems dizziness and the like if you like this type of information and want to see more videos like this click on the like button and subscribe to the channel also if you have a burning question about some health related topic or nutrient deficiency question please ask it in the comment section i may do a separate video on that topic or at least answer your question thanks again for watching we'll see you next time